Hey guys, what's happening? Niat here with Film Comics Explained, and today we'll be taking a look at The Cave, which was a 2005 adventure horror flick directed by Bruce Hunt, starring Cole Hauser, Lena Headey, and Morris Chestnut. Set in the Carpathian Mountains of Romania, the film follows a group of archaeologists and biologists that team up with cave divers to explore what appeared to be an untouched deep network of caves. Unfortunately for the group of explorers, they soon come into contact with a race of underground-dwelling winged creatures that begin hunting them down, forcing them further into the depths of the unknown. The film begins in the mountains of Romania during the Cold War, where a group of Soviet and British explorers are seen breaking through restricted areas in the search of a long-lost 13th century church, which they eventually find. Upon entering, they soon discover that the church was built above the entrance to a large subterranean cave system. The interior of the abbey is also decorated with carvings showing battles between the Knights Templar and winged beasts resembling demons. In their hasty attempt to blast their way through the sealed entrance using explosives, they unwittingly cause a massive rock slide that buries both the abbey and the men that were in it. With no visible way out, they soon hear the sound of clicking as the winged creatures use their echolocation to descend upon the unsuspecting men. The church is then discovered almost three decades later by archaeologist Dr. Nikolai and his associate Catherine Jennings, who was a biologist. After excavating the site, the team find the same images of the medieval battles between the knights and the demons prior to discovering the entrance to the cave system. Believing that the unexplored network had the potential to contain an undiscovered ecosystem, Nikolai then hired a team of experienced cave divers led by brothers Jack and Tyler to help the scientists investigate the dangerous depths. Dr. Nikolai. Hello. Hey, it's Jack. You got some good news? We've done the surface scans. The cave is huge, Jack. There is a river off the main current, and there's no way it can come out for at least 90 miles. While Tyler was the most talented diver out of the lot, he was also the most reckless and often took unnecessary risks in the pursuit of being the first one ever to reach a location. This indicated early on that his ego meant more to him than his life. Jack, on the other hand, was the responsible older brother who led the team, with a focus on safety, causing him to often butt heads with his younger bro. The dive team consisted of three divers, including Briggs and the two brothers. Charlie was their rock climbing expert, and Strode served as their electrical engineer, while Top Buchanan functioned as the team's survival expert. After arriving in Romania, the large group of explorers make it down 300 feet below the entrance of the cave, to a large cavern which had been named Titan Hall by Dr. Nikolai. They built the church to seal the cave as a display of God's protective power. Now, try to imagine this Knights Templar entering the cave and according to the local legend, fighting these winged demons. With a 12-day mission plan set, Briggs is sent in first to scout for another dry cavern deeper in the caves, and uses their sonar technology developed by Strode to map the interior, much to the disappointment of Tyler, who had been sidelined by Jack for his reckless actions during their last dive. After several hours, the group lose contact with Briggs before he appears in front of the monitor, telling the team that he had discovered their new advanced base camp moments before finding a strange rat-like creature that scurried away from him. Although this discovery confirmed the existence of an unknown ecosystem, the joy of discovery is soon cut short with the group losing contact with Briggs. Having acquired all his trajectory data, and perceiving his abrupt disappearance to be purely a technical problem, the team soon follow his trail. One of my favourite things about this film is the long underwater shots of the divers and the exotic cave systems we see them explore, which helps create a claustrophobic atmosphere that persists throughout the film. The group soon find Briggs safely downriver, just as Strode is attacked and dragged away by a creature, forcing him to lose control of his sea scooter, which explodes and causes a massive cave-in, preventing the group from heading back the way they came in. One mile below the surface, and almost three miles into the cave system, the divers begin looking for a way out, while Nikolai and Jennings analyse specimens. After comparing samples from the strange mole creature and a mutated salamander, Jennings soon discovers a strange parasite that had been living in both of them. What was most unique about this parasite was that, unlike all other cave species which originated on the surface before evolving underground over many generations, this specific parasite had actually originated from the cave environment itself. After stumbling over the remains of the previous explorers, Jack is then besieged by one of the winged demons which attempts to pull him in. 
Fighting the creature back and managing to get away, Jack then regroups with his team, who then tend to the deep cuts on his shoulder, as he explained that the creature that attacked him was huge. Jennings analyzes a claw that had been pulled out of Jack's shoulder and points out that it had the same parasite that she had discovered in the mole rat and the salamander. What this meant was that the ancient species, referred to as the winged demons, were essentially the result of the same parasite causing its human victims to rapidly mutate, evolve, and adapt to their dark environment. And the winged creatures that were attacking the group were essentially the Soviet and British explorers from earlier in the film, after years of infection and evolution. And after receiving a scratch from one of these winged creatures, Jack was secretly beginning to change, gradually mutating into a form that was better suited to the cave environment. Followed by the winged demons every step of the way, which stalked them with their highly advanced form of echolocation, the team begin to fall one by one, beginning with Dr. Nikolai, followed by Charlie, who was attacked on one of the cliff faces. At the same time, Jack, who had been scratched and infected by the parasite, begins the process of transformation, which enhances his senses and increases his sensitivity to light, leading half of the group to grow distrustful of his motives. We need a break. Not with that thing out there. You gotta let him rest, Jack. Once we hit the water. Water? I don't hear any water, Jack. Yeah, I smell it. After splitting up into two teams, Jack is able to use his enhanced senses to discover a cavern littered with human skeletons and realizes that he, Tyler, and Top had just stumbled upon the ancient battleground depicted on the mosaic images in the remains of the church. Spotting daylight through the underwater passages, Tyler heads back for the other half of the team, while Top and Jack dealt with the winged creatures that toyed with them. In the end, Tyler, Jennings, and Top are able to make it out, while Jack held the creatures off in an epic display of ultimate badassery. Unfortunately for humanity, it is soon revealed that Jennings was infected with the parasite, and while all the other infected hosts had severe physical mutations and a sensitivity to light, Jennings' infection was free of those restrictions, allowing the parasite to survive outdoors. And although Tyler tried to follow her immediately after discovering she was infected, Jennings disappeared into the crowd, indicating that the parasite was about to spread throughout the world. I really enjoyed The Cave, and though the film was panned by critics upon its release, I think it's a solid monster flick, with a unique creature unlike anything we had seen up until then. The creatures were also designed by Patrick Totopoulos and his special effects team, who have an incredible body of work, including but not limited to the creature designs on Pitch Black, Underworld, Independence Day, and Stargate. It's a parasite. There was a concept there that I'd never explored before, uh, creating transformed human that turned into something that's adapted to the cave. It's actually a very interesting thing. It's almost like creating an evolution in some ways, the way things change. The job of a designer is not to come up with his vision for a movie. It is to extract the vision of the director. The designer sort of split his work in many, many foremen and very important people, which you never hear about when you watch a movie, because they're way back in the, in the credit list. With a rough outline of cues featured in the script, Totopoulos took the basic descriptive characteristics and conceived creatures that had a vaguely humanoid outline, implying that they originated from humans. The director had also requested having an actual person in the creature suit, which altered the approach the design team took during its inception to create a distinctive creature that could be operated by a person, while still retaining its evolved characteristics. That's where evolution would drive this creature. It would always be kind of forefront in these little cave holes, and all these little limbs would kind of let it crawl around through the tubes of the caves. If you haven't seen the film, I've left a link to where you can purchase it below. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks to all of you guys who requested an explanation of the cave. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the notification icon to stay up to date on all my content. And if there's any other stuff you'd like me to check out, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by. Charlie! I told you no! Hey, be careful! Get the rope. You okay? Talk, you got it? Damn, that girl moves fast. Be careful up there, Charlie! Charlie!